Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Let's talk about seatbelts. <laughs> Let's talk about seatbelts. Um, I'm old enough. I'm, I'm 51. I'm 51 years old, which means I'm old enough to remember a time, remember a day and age when we didn't all wear seatbelts, right? Uh, in fact, actually, little known, little known fact, uh, seatbelts became mandatory in vehicles uh, in 1968. So the year I was born, that's when it was required that all manufactured uh, cars had a seatbelt, but we weren't required to wear them. Oh, I can remember long drives from Sacramento to Eureka, and you know my mom would turn around and say, go ahead and unbuckle your seatbelt and lie down across the back bench, right? Or we'd jump over the back bench into the you know, into the, the hatchback part of the car and play uh, all, uh, in a bunch of blankets and pillows. Or we, we took a family vacation once to Yosemite and all the kids sat in the back of a pickup truck in a camper trailer setup thing. We didn't have windows or seatbelts and we drove all the way there. Uh, in fact, seatbelts weren't even required for us to wear until 1984. 1984. And so I know there's a lot of you that are older than I am, or more, more mature than I am, wiser than I am, who still feel a little uncomfortable wearing a seatbelt. I have been in two accidents. I've been in two car accidents. Uh, neither one were my fault. I was, I was parked, or I was actually sitting still, my vehicle was sitting still uh, when I was hit both times. Um, once I was struck from behind by several cars at a stoplight, and the other time I was struck on my passenger side door and my head swung over and hit the driver's window and I actually broke the seatbelt that I was wearing because the impact was so hard. And I uh, suffered whiplash from both uh, injuries. But I wear a seatbelt all the time. I wear a seatbelt every day. Uh, whenever I go out and drive, I wear a seatbelt. But here's the thing. I don't wear the seatbelt because I'm scared. Right? I don't wear the seatbelt because I'm afraid. That's not why I wear it. I wear it because I want to be safe. And when I'm in a car with other people, I want them to be safe too. I want us all to be safe. Nobody thinks you're scared. Okay? Nobody thinks you're scared. Right now, with what we're going through with the world, nobody is accusing you of being scared. And I know... Uh, you know, we're, we're brave and we want to meet this head on. I'm not scared either. You shouldn't be. And I think if you're listening, if you're listening to the easy precautions that we can all take right now, I think we'll be fine, right? If we're listening to the easy precautions that we can all take, we will be fine. It, this, this has never been about being scared but it is about being wise. We need to be wise. We need to be wise for our own sake, for our health, for our family, but also for our neighbor. We need to, be, we need to live wisely for them as well. Uh, I was thinking, you know, the Bible tells us to be brave, obviously. The Bible tells us to be brave. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord, absolutely. But the Bible also tells us to live smart lives, to be wise. I have a passage here uh, from Ephesians 5 verses 15 and 16, it says, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. Can you remember that passage today for me? Remember that passage, write it down for me. Remember this one today, Ephesians 5, 15, 16, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. Remember that for me today. And remember Solomon. Remember God said, you can have whatever you want. And what did Solomon pick? He picked wisdom. He didn't pick long life. He didn't pick wealth. He picked wisdom and God commended him for it. God said, you have chosen the best thing to want in life. And because Solomon asked for wisdom, God gave him long life and God gave him wealth. Wisdom, living with wisdom, living a wise life, that is still something that God asks us to do. Yes, you're brave. We're not accusing you of being scared, right? No one says no one says we're scared. We're not scared. Walden Church isn't scared. I'm not scared. Our congregation's not scared, but we want to live wise 
lives as well. And I think together, together, the world, we can unite and we can destroy this common enemy. We can unite under the same banner. We can love thy neighbor. We can stay healthy and we can destroy this common enemy if we live with wisdom, if we live a wise life. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and like this channel. We're going to keep updating you here using social media. So make sure you start using social media. If you didn't, if you weren't a social media person before, this is the time. <laughs> Get on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're everywhere. We're going to keep sending these out to you. We want you guys to stay safe and we want to keep you informed. We love you, Walden. I'll see you soon. Bye.